So hello and welcome to the live stream, whether you are joining live with us now or if you're catching us on the replay. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how you can use multiple cameras on your live stream without needing um, additional hardware such as a switcher. And I think this is an important tutorial to do because as you know, if you followed me or even if you're new here, I'm a big believer that gear shouldn't get in the way of creating. So I'm going to walk you through how you can use multiple cameras, whether that is, you know, you have a web camera and you also have a DSLR and you want to switch angles so that you have one, you know, direct camera and one shooting from the top, showing your hands doing something. And then um, I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to do that specifically today in StreamYard. Why StreamYard? They're one of the many live streaming software platforms that I use. Um, I think they're a great offering. I think there are lots of offerings on the market and I'm not saying they're the best. I'm saying that they're a good offering and um, they're one that I teach um, people how to use because they're so easy to use. So let's get right into it today. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah Nguyen. I help coaches, consultants and creative pros build their business using video on social media with ease. Now, whether you are on the chat with us now live or if you are watching the replay, please, um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments or in the chat and I'll get to them at the end of the live stream or after the live stream if you are watching the replay. I'll put all the links to everything in the description. So everything that you know you need, the links to StreamYard, all of that will be in the description as they always are. So let's get right into it. Okay, so this I hope will be a really tight little tutorial because this is so much easier than um, people think it is. So let's go over to StreamYard now, going to get right into it. And I'm going to show you how you can set up StreamYard so that you can have multiple cameras and switch between them without a switcher, right? I have no switcher. Um, I haven't purchased one because I don't need any more gear. I already have plenty of gear and I, I also believe in using what you've got. Um, and you know, if you don't need to buy gear and you can just create, just create. So let's do that. So let's go over to StreamYard now. So this is StreamYard. I'm gonna remove the overlay. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little as well so you can see it really clearly. So this is StreamYard and we're going to go into a broadcast. So we're going to click enter broadcast studio once you've set it up. Um, I've, I'll, put, I'll put a link in the description to a how to use StreamYard tutorial so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, when you go into um, StreamYard, it will ask you to choose a camera and microphone. So just choose your primary one for now. So I'm going to choose my capture card, which is this one here. Um, and for the audio, uh, let's go, let's just leave it at that. It doesn't really matter because you're not, I'm not actually going to live stream with this. I'm just showing you. So choose your camera, choose your audio, the main one, right? Okay. And then you can have your display name and then enter the broadcast studio. So I'm going to mute this just because I don't want um, any echo and I don't want any playback on this demo, but you obviously would not mute it because you would be on a live stream. And if you muted it on your live stream, people wouldn't be able to hear you. So now that we are in StreamYard, how do we actually get another camera up and running? There's a couple of ways to do this, but this is the way that I found is the easiest. So what you want to do is you want to duplicate this tab. So I'm in Chrome at the moment, right? So we want to duplicate this tab. And when you duplicate the tab, it will ask you to choose another camera. Woohoo! So now this is the current, you know, the, the primary camera that I've got, but I'm going to go back to cam and mic here. And in the camera, I'm instead, I'm going to choose my webcam, right? So this is, hello, this is the webcam. So let's just say, you know, I'm maybe I'm drawing or I'm a crafter and I'm demoing, or I've got something that I want to show you. And I've got now the top down view of the computer space and I can do that. So I've chosen the camera there, um, audio, I'm going to, I'm going to mute it because I don't want echo. Um, but for now we can leave it and then close that. And then I'm going to change this name just so I'm not confused. So this will be Beyonce cam and I'm going to enter the broadcast studio and we're going to go back to the first tab, right? So I'm going to leave this one open. I'm going to go back to the first one. I'm going to mute this one as well. So, now you can see I've got this primary um, camera here, which is the face to camera feed. And then I've got the um, second one here, which is the, 
little, you know, webcam that I've got that's showing top down of the desktop. So if I add this first one to stream, woohoo, happy days. And then I can switch between this one and then, you know, the next one, right? The other camera. So I can choose between the cameras. And then as you know, with StreamYard, you treat it the same way that you would treat guests, right? So you've got the option to play with the layouts now, right? So I can go um, add this one to stream and then I can be have both myself on the camera live streaming and I can also have this second camera showing as well. And if you don't know with, with StreamYard, you can also drag the cameras and switch them around and, you know, just play around with the layouts. But you've got the different layouts here that you can then play with. You can have them, um, you know, you can have them side by side like that. You can have them a little bit larger and both consuming, the, although that doesn't work because you can't see as much but that's okay you know you've got these different layouts and you kind of just play around to make it suit you and how easy was that um, just be careful that you want to if you are using um, a webcam you want to keep um, one you keep it on mute otherwise you'll get feedback right so that's a big tip for you to have so how easy was that, is that and that's as that's as pretty much as you know um, simple as it is to bring in a second camera I didn't need to buy an additional hardware I didn't need to program the keys or anything all I needed to do was to right click on the tab and duplicate it and then choose the second camera and you keep that tab open if you close this tab then it's going to like remove Beyonce cam remove that second camera so just keep that just be aware of that and this is the easy way that um, you know you can use StreamYard with multiple cameras and I love it and I, I personally don't um, you know use multiple cameras because I do a lot of tutorials and I don't find the need for it but um, you know I, I find because it's so simple it's definitely something that I could do and it's something that will also help you mix up <laughs> um, you know spice up and change around your live streams a little bit and it's so simple as I said I love it when you don't have to buy additional equipment because live streaming you know starts to add up when you add the software and the equipment and you know all of that stuff it starts to add up a little bit so I found this beautiful little hack which works Amazingly, which you can now use for your um, multicam needs, multiple cameras. Um, and you can add, you know, I think with StreamYard, you get, you can add 10 guests. So technically you could probably add 10 cameras if you wanted to have 10 different angles and, you know, change between different angles. So um, the possibilities are almost endless. So I really love that. Now I'm going to show you the second way to do it. So I'm going to close Beyonce cam for now. So there's a second way which I've seen, which is a little bit more clunky, but it's the similar premise. So if you've, if you, if you know, you're like, okay, I want to know all the different ways. The first way I showed you is definitely the easiest way that I've discovered. The second way to do it is if you click on invite and you get this link here, right? And you copy this link and this is the link that you can then open up in another browser. Oops, I'm just doing all sorts of mistakes today. And then same deal, it gives you the, it's exactly the same deal, right? Then it opens up and then it'll ask you for um, you to choose the camera and then you can choose another camera. So those are the two ways you can do it. You can either invite yourself as a guest or you can duplicate the tab. Duplicating the tab just feels easier. But um, the, perhaps, you know, you've got um, a camera that's on another computer. I don't know or you've got a camera that's you know on your phone you can use your bring in your phone that way so this is just another way of doing it so those are the two ways that i've sh that you now know how to bring in additional cameras one is you can just duplicate the tab itself and this will allow you to then add another camera that you then switch to at the bottom here alternatively you can click on this invite button and that will send a link that you can open in another computer you can open in an, on your phone if you wanted to use your phone as a camera source and that's a cool little way to do it so that um essentially is your little crash course nice little hack on how to use StreamYard with multiple cameras so that um you don't have to buy a switcher so i'm just going to go back and check on the questions now let's go so life with joy hi life hi life with joy good to see you here um david pearl says maybe you'd be showing how to use the roadcaster very much so maybe people want to see how you would actually use um the roadcaster it's a great little device uh true north paul good to see you here it's a great tip on the second camera setup thank you i'm glad like as i said i love 
finding these things and going, yeah, that's such a great tip. Like people don't buy it. It's something extra, but they can create something different. So I, I had to share it with you when I found that. I was like, this is so cool. Um, hi, Charlie. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning to you as well. Dave Fell says Beyonce is definitely back. Beyonce is definitely back. It's been a hot minute, but she is definitely back. Paul says, big up Beyonce. I know, right? She just loves to drop into these live streams. So um, Big Mac Radio says, thank you, thank you, thank you. You just saved me $600. You know, I'm glad to have saved you some money. Go and create some amazing live streams with multiple camera um, sources and feeds. I can't wait to see what you produce. So um, that essentially wraps us up for today's live stream. I promised it was going to be a neat, tidy little one. Got right to, you know, the chunk of it straight away. So if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already where I do lots more live stream tutorials social media training and I really help you grow your business using video with ease so you can get your message out there to people who desperately need to hear what you've got to say um, thank, and thank you for everyone for joining me live today I think we need a bit of a confetti party it's my first live stream of the year um, I've taken some time off for personal reasons and I'm really Glad that you're here and I'm glad to be back as well. Super excited. Now, um, get into the business. If you haven't already got it, make sure you grab a copy of my Facebook Live Cheat Sheets. I show you how to get up and running on Facebook Live, even if you've never hit record before, so that you can start broadcasting and getting your message out there, connecting with people and making more money in your business. So the link to that I'll put on the screen as well as in the description. Thanks for joining me today, everyone. I'm so grateful to be here again and to have you guys here and I'll see you in the next live stream. Bye for now.